Welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm here with FPV legend Maddie Stunts at one of his legendary spots. Maddie's known for a particular style of flying where you do a lot of. Yeah, a lot of that. A lot of kind of backwards, inver I mean, how would you describe it? Not shying away from any position that a quad can be in. Part of how you do it is with your camera up tilt, right? Basically, up tilt is your angle of attack. So most people will fly with an angle of attack about like right around here. This is a 60 degree GoPro mount. You bring it up to around there, and now this is your angle of attack. But now, at this angle, the quad starts doing some weird things with its thrust. If you want to roll, and you want to roll this camera on access, now your roll's like this, and you're almost yawing. So when you roll, you have to kind of yaw with a little bit of roll at the same time. You're probably 80% yaw and 20% roll. In the other um, scenario, if you're doing a yaw spin, you're probably 80% roll and 20% yaw. So the two big changes are your roll and your yaw. When your camera passes 45, 45 degrees, degrees, your roll and your right. yaw sticks practically flip yes. their function from the perspective of the camera that you're looking through. So on one of my quads, I fly about 30 degrees up tilt and I've got enough up tilt that I can still do Maddie tricks. Yeah. Probably not as I can't do as many of them. Well, know? if you invert from far away, you're inverting like this, and now you're just like dropping out of the air. You know what I mean? You can still see it, but you're gonna have to have a lot of momentum to get yourself inverted into that gap. Instead, when I invert, I can invert, and it'll still push the quad towards the gap. Let's get some flying in so you can see kind of the differences between you know, my setup and his setup and our flying styles, and then... Let's get you into a, a high wanna, tilt. Yeah. Because uh, you're not used to it, right? No, I want to I get regular, some coaching. Your regular quad that you fly it's will like be 30. what, 30? Yeah, so I'm going to get a... I have a quad set up with, with you know 60 degrees. You know what we should do degrees. too? I sh you, should, you should give me the 30 and see how... Oh, you want to fly one of my quads? Yeah, yeah, so okay. quad 30. We're going to We're going to straight trade quads today, so let's get warmed up first. So it's the next day. Um, I had an absolute horrific crash yesterday. Uh, it's a little colder today, um, but we're gonna make this work. Maddie, what do you think of my high up tilt quad? Is it stunts approved? Yeah, now is this 60 degrees here, your HD camera? Yeah, that's 60. That's 60, hey? So now, is your FPV camera, does it look like it's at 60? Are you seriously hating on that? Yeah, it's it's a little 45-ish, are we able to That is not up? 45. Are we able to push it up? No, that's as high as it's gonna go, it's hitting the stack. You wanna fly true? You want more than this? Well, I would look say how much this is. is at least over 50. Look, look how much. Yes, it's over 50. Okay. It's well beyond 45. Yeah, I, I'm not hating on it. You're I mean, kind of hating on I, it. I, it could be a little high. It could be a little high. God, dude, that's stupid. <laughs> I, I just can't get over how much you look like Charpoo with this haircut. I'm serious, man. So this isn't actually my first time flying this high up tilt. I've, I've flown this once before under a bridge. It was terrifying. So I'm hoping you can give me some tips. So just taking it like right off the bat. So let's take off. 
As soon as you take off, you're gonna see that you're already looking at the group, right? Yeah, I'm looking straight up, it feels like. So, so I'm, gonna, now, I'm gonna tilt forward before I even lift off. All right, so now I'm just cruising forward. And it's just like going so fast with so little throttle. Yeah. So now when we, when we pitch back and we look up, we start to elevate towards the bridge, right? Oh, it's so weird how far, like I can just keep thrusting myself back. Absolutely, and that's so, like, because- I'm looking at the bridge and it's just like going back forever. Ugh. Yeah. Um, the weird thing is if I just roll, it's like now I'm looking straight at the ground. That's right. So and that's if I why just yaw, it's like just flying backwards looking up. That's ew, it still gets me every time. Like I said, not my first time, but it still is just like what I want to be able to do is just basically drive around upside down like indefinitely. You know, just like I'm just chilling. Just going around. Chilling, and and this is straight. always gonna be way easier with high tilt with a roof, you know? Yeah, because I'm just looking at the roof and I almost hit it there, and I'm gonna go back upright. But I, I feel like I can almost just steer, you know, no problem. Yeah, and when you're, when you're upside down too, it, the reason why it looks like you're, you're traveling further upside down is because you are having more momentum when you're flying this fast. Uh -huh. and, um, and also the thrust direction once you're upside down. But how much funner is it to fly a higher, a higher tilt? This spot, at, this particular this spot, spot is this so spot. fun. It feels very freeing almost. Yeah. It's really weird. Like, I'm never going blind. Mm -hmm. I, I always push myself right where I'm looking. I never thought I would think of high up tilt as freeing because the one time I tried it before I was really overwhelmed but I think having tried it before I knew a little bit more what to expect and I've been flying with you so I've been watching it and getting more used to the aesthetic. I can pretty much just steer around like upside down what's what's the next trick I should learn because I don't even know where to go from here on this thing I would do let's do from pillar to pillar uh -huh. and let's do ride up one pillar okay. up the wall and then ride straight to the roof straight to the roof and then back down the other side okay so I'm just gonna head over to that middle pillar we're just gonna go up over and down so what you have to up. yeah oh 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 How was that flight? Ugh. You never, you never get off the throttle. Like yeah. my style of flight, usually I do a lot of, I'll toss myself and lower the throttle a lot and float it. Right. But with the way, with how close your camera angle ends up to the direction of your thrust, you never really get off. I found like even when I was diving back down, you had to stop if I stay on. added the throttle, it thrusting down toward the ground in a yeah. weird way, but yeah. not the same it, way it you would really expect. It really changes the physics of what you think the quad should be doing in the flights. Yeah. So let's like, see if I can fly this spot with Drew's quad. Yeah. It needs to be at least 30 for me. Okay, I'll make, okay. It, I'll make it 30. So let's see what Maddie stunts can do with, with 30, 30 degrees. This is what we're talking about here, which is the, the Ladrib um, X-Hover edition. Yeah, wait, do you know what the name of the frame actually is? No. The Skyliner. Oh, the Skyliner. Get it? No. Now the stunt's going up. We'll start with a Ladrib type fashion of uh, going very slow and smooth. <laughs> yeah, it's so slow. Like, I feel like I have to push lots forward to go anywhere. And see, like right there, it didn't, it felt like if that was my success rig with high tilt, I would be floating backwards a lot more. Yeah, you definitely don't go as far back. Yeah. But see how you can chop the throttle and just and just float with the momentum. Absolutely. So rather than forcing yourself the whole time to go in the direction, you just toss the quad more. But see there, yeah, you didn't have any backwards momentum. Yeah. Also, that battery's, uh, yeah, it's not a good The battery one. feels a little poopy, but. All right, but yeah, try and, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, you got it. So I'm running out of juice. The, the you know, let's put a new battery on. It's okay. So we're switching out batteries really quickly and putting a 5S onto what was a 4S quad because 4S batteries. sucks. Yeah, that, yeah, I mean, also all my batteries are All his batteries are used. very poopy, so we're putting in a, a, a Rebel oh, 5S. Rain. Now, Drew, tell me, do you always fly with your lenses this dirty inside your <laughs> goggles? I'm gonna stay, try to stay on this side of the bridge because I think that we're gonna have less rain here. Oh yeah, that's, that's Yeah, the right. 5S helps a bit. Yeah. So the only thing that I really notice right now, it, it because it's an open area and I can kind of scoot around and get fast, like right there, I kind of blew out that corner. I wouldn't be blowing out that corner with, with a 60 degree tilt, but my rolling's not on access and that, that just takes time to relearn the 
the mechanics of the flight. Of the Just because you're not used to the same amount of mixing, right? Yeah, but what, what we're gonna try to do here, we're gonna try to do a, from one pillar to the to another pillar, and we're gonna do a yaw spin while we're spider manning the roof. Let's try to do that. You can do right in front of us? Cool. Yeah. You got it. Was it? How, yeah. Is it off axis a bit? It, I just I have to lean on yaw a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, right. So to do a yaw spin with your high tilt, you use more roll than you do yaw. But with mine, you're back to using more yaw. Let's try to do some pirouettes uh, cyclones. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. And I'm almost crashing. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh my God. That is crazy to see done with lo my low angle. That's okay. Yeah, it, it's a little bit weird. I'd have to hop in the sim and just like really uh, get used to it again. I mean, you can still get very floaty with, with this camera angle. I think it had a lot to do with that battery. Like, look at that. Yeah. I can still do it. You just have to get used to the camera perspective, right? Yeah. Let's try to go two pillars here. Yeah, you just stare at the ceiling and you can just uh oh. Uh oh. And that's oh, yeah. another 5S battery. You just killed. That's another just, 5S battery I just nuked. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Even even at 30, I mean, you can still fly a lot of those tricks. I, my opinion has been I can do almost all your tricks with the lower tilt. Yeah. And not having the higher tilt doesn't make certain things like, like a smooth split S more difficult. Right. The trade-off though is like when I see you way other side, look backwards, spot a gap, and just go like, and hit it, I can't do that. It so. would be a little bit more blind. Yeah. And you would have to look at the sky a little bit more to get that. Um, yeah, to get the momentum get that going momentum. backwards. That's right. Would you ever go back to lower angle? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, with all this grinding stuff that's happening lately, um, obviously a lower tilt is more beneficial. Definitely maybe playing around with the concept. Uh -huh. uh, my heart and soul, I think I still, I still truly believe that you can get more done with a higher tilt. All the benefits of having a higher tilt uh, are there all the all the cons can be worked with? I think more than if you have a lower tilt. Mm -hmm. In my personal opinion, yeah, I know someone who flies lower tilt might not think that, but for me, at do least. you really think if you came to Detroit, like one of our abandoned buildings, would you be able to fully navigate like every room, all the things? I I uh, I smell a challenge coming on. Future episode, Natty comes to Detroit. I think it's possible. I, I might explode. Don't get me wrong. I want to see it happen. Yeah. It's something I actually do want to continue to explore with a dedicated high up tilt quad. So right. I think my main fleet will always be like what I've been flying with 30 degrees. And for me, that provides versatility in flying. I can still do most of the inverted Matty moves, maybe not all of them, but I'd like to have a high up tilt quad for when I come to a spot like this, it's just straight up more fun with the high up tilt. I'm not Absolutely. gonna lie. I just had more like flying it, it that. It takes like, it takes three or four batteries to get that that mechanics and the mixing going with your fingers though. So yeah. If you want to build a quad like the ones you're seeing us flying, whether it's high angle, low angle, whatever, check out store.rotoriot.com. You can build you can build quads just like the ones we're flying. I'm Ladrib. Nice sense. Thanks for for hanging out under a bridge with us. You can trolls, eh? you a bunch of trolls. Did water just come out of your nose? Yeah. It did, didn't it? You took my only water and you drank that. I did. This but my guy's a cesspool. This guy is literally a cesspool of germs and bacteria. I give you a bed, a car, I buy your I, food. Take my water too, okay? I didn't put my mouth on it. Just put it in the trunk, man. <laughs>